It's time for another pop day with Mumbles and Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. On today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, we are talking about fall weather and some tips to help you guys get through it and to help your pet be comfortable in it. So I'm going to put Dancer down and we're going to get straight to that. So anyways, guys, now that I put Dancer down, let's talk about these tips that I have for fall. The first tip that I have is that you need to watch your yard area. During fall, leaves can fall, mushrooms can grow, toadstools can grow, and all of those things can have mold that can be poisonous. So you really need to watch your yard, watch what's flying into it, watch what's falling into it, and be careful, especially around new puppies. New puppies are curious. New puppies want to pick things up, put them in their mouth. They don't know any better. Make sure to be careful about what is in your yard. Now, my second tip is rodent deterrence. Things such as rat poison, things such as mouse traps, that kind of stuff. You need to be very, very, very careful with it around your pet. All it takes is for a bird to pick something up that were, that had poison on it and for your, it to fall in your yard and then your dog's got it. Or if it, the trap is set out in the open and your dog gets its nose stuck in it, or even your cat gets its nose stuck in it, you need to be careful with this kind of stuff. And even if it's just a neighbor that is doing something like this, you might not agree with it, or your neighbor might be doing it. You gotta be careful what, where this kind of stuff goes. My third tip for you guys today is you need to watch out for cold weather. You know, this is that time of year where it starts to get cold. In some places we get snow. Some places it gets really super duper cold. And for older dogs, they get arthritis. They can't move as well. For younger dogs, they might not have as thick of coat as they need in order to deal with these harsh weathers. So what you need to do is have a set up safe area for them either outside or bring them inside. You need to have some kind of situation for them so they can stay warm, they can stay out of the cold, and so they don't get anything that goes along with having been in cold weather. So try to make them in their own little space outside or inside if need be. So guys, during this time of year, we have a lot of holidays coming up. So my fourth tip is for you to watch out what your dog is eating. For example, turkeys have bones, chicken have bones, ham has bones, that kind of stuff. You need to be careful with it because bone can be a very high choking hazard. So you need to be careful with what your pet is eating, even if it's not you giving it to them. Maybe it's a family member who doesn't know any better. You got to be careful with that kind of stuff. So pay attention to what your pet is eating. So my fifth and final tip is exercise. Because of the cold weather, the rain, the snow, whatever it is, you may not be able to take your dog out for a walk every day. Or you may not be able to take them out in the yard and play ball with them every day. Or you may not be able to get them that exercise they so desperately need. It's at this time that pets can gain weight and things like that. So my recommendation here is if you can't do something outside with them, maybe bring some of it inside. Just because you can't go for a walk outside doesn't mean you can't walk your dog around the house. Or it doesn't mean you can't play some with a toy with your dog around the house. It doesn't mean they can't get exercise even if they can't go outside as much. So guys, just be aware of that. Have a plan in motion for your exercise and everything will work out fine. So guys, these have been my tips for fall. Now I'm gonna bring back in Dancer so that we can talk about the rest of the story. So guys, now that you've gotten your tips, it's time for Dancer's favorite part of the video, the pop in play segment. So let's see what Mr. Dancer was up to this week. Anyways guys, this is going to be Mumbles and Dancer signing off. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, smack all those button, button, button. Go and give your pet a nice big hug from Dancer and I. Anyways guys, this is going to be Mumbles and Dancer signing off. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.